Now, normally when people travel to a foreign country, they are likely to visit a scenic national park or a white sandy beach. But one young American chose an unlikely place for his short stay abroad. Rye Beckett has been to combat, serving in Iraq, Bosnia and the Horn of Africa as a member of the U.S. Marine Corps. Prior to joining the Marines in 2000, Beckett, then a 20-year-old college student, made a trip to Kenya, which he says profoundly transformed his worldview. I took a summer abroad when I was 20 years old, and I came and I studied um, in Kenya. And I rented a small 10 by 10 foot shack in Kibera, and I met some remarkable people. Tabitha Festo and Salim Mohammed. Tabitha was a nurse living in Kibera, and Salim was working at the Mathari Youth Sports Association. Kibera slums are characterized by abject poverty, crime, and a lack of social amenities. The crime rate is high, and the youth are exposed to drugs and alcohol. After listening to the experiences of survival and resilience in the midst of all these challenges, Rai Beckett decided that he could not just walk away from Kibera. I was very inspired by the people that I was meeting. One of the reasons I went into the Marine Corps was because the Marines offered to push myself. They pushed myself to the limit. And what I saw in Kibera was tremendous strength. And that strength inspired me and inspires me to this day. Backer joined forces with Tabitha Festo, Sally Mohammed, and other friends to found Carolina for Kibera, an nonprofit organization that encourages young people to participate in development of Kibera. And Carolina for Kibera uses soccer to develop a new generation of leaders from within Kibera. Change is really possible in these communities when it's driven from within. And that's our big message. It's a big message for Americans, is that they can serve regardless of what age they are. They can make a difference in the world, and Kenyans can too, but only if you work with local leaders. In a newly published book titled It Happened on the Way to War, Backward shares his experiences with the hope of inspiring others to find ways in which they can serve where there is need. This is a book about the merging of two forms of service, social entrepreneurship and co-founding a nonprofit in the Kibera Slum in Nairobi, Kenya, and military service in the Marines and leading Marines into combat, and how those two forms of service clashed and converged in my own head and heart. Backot says he wrote the book mainly for the youth, young Americans, and young Kenyans who are looking to make an impact in the world. One message I hope they really take away from this is it's, it's not too early to make that impact. You don't have to wait for wealth or, or prestige or status in life. You can do it, you can do it now, if you do it in partnership with others. Backot says after spending time in Kibera, he realizes that the people there don't need pity, but just like everyone else, they need opportunities and a little support to realize their full potential.